Today I've got the latest of Game On's releases, it's their all new eSports series, a 27 inch QHD 240Hz gaming monitor. Let's have an unboxing and quick look inside the box. As soon as you take off the box you're gonna be greeted with this manual which also tells you how to handle the monitor as the glass could be quite fragile so you want to take care in your assembly. Of course you're gonna have your display port cable as well as an AC power cable. And then we have a two-piece aluminum base for the monitor. It's very lightweight and clean in design, shouldn't be too intrusive on your desk. Now it's time to take the monitor out of the box. As you notice here, I will not be handling it with my hands, but rather I will be installing the back base to ensure maximum safety when moving the monitor around. You're gonna find the screws in the same bag that contained the manual. Make sure you install them properly, bolt on the two on the back and then the one at the bottom. This will also ensure that I have safe handling of the monitor, this way we avoid any chance of accidents by handling it on the glass itself. The back design of this monitor is going to be very minimalistic, with just a red ring on the back, no RGB whatsoever. In terms of the I.O., we're going to have a DCN, two HDMI 2.1s, two DisplayPorts 1.4 and one 3.5mm audio jack. Looking at the side profile of the monitor, you can see how thin the bezel actually is with a small protrusion on the bottom to house the I.O. and all the hardware components. Now let's have a closer look at the specs of this monitor. As previously mentioned, it's going to be 27 inches in size, a normal aspect ratio of 16 by 9. It's going to have a non-glare display surface, meaning it won't be reflective. The panel type is a VA with no curvature. The resolution is Full HD 1920 by 1080 with 1 millisecond of response time. The refresh rate can go as high as 240Hz with HDR supported and a flicker-free technology. Using the toggle on the back of the monitor, we can control the on-screen display. It's quite intuitive to use and at the same time it's everything you expect from the latest of gaming monitors allowing you to control your input sources, brightness, contrast, color settings, picture quality and much more. I will also be using my tool from Calibrite which allows me to take measurements of the contrast, brightness and color accuracy of the monitor. As you see here after calibration, it just made the screen temperature a bit more warm and this should give us a more balanced experience in terms of color accuracy. One of the key features of this monitor is obviously the refresh rate. As you can see here in the alien test, the 240Hz will be on the top with 120 in the middle and 60 at the very bottom. This monitor should appeal to anyone who's trying to get into the FPS genre or competitive games in general. The Full HD resolution allows you to drive much higher frame rates from your PC. At the same time, you're sticking to a much tighter budget when compared to the bigger brands. I also tried playing some Remnant 2 on this monitor. I enjoyed the higher frame rates because this game is quite difficult to drive even on higher end systems. I was averaging anywhere from 150 to 200 hertz depending on the scene that I was in. But overall, it provided me with a fantastic picture quality and I had a great time playing around with it. In conclusion, I think this monitor should appeal to anyone who is trying to get into high refresh rate gaming monitors without paying the bigger amounts on the well-known brands. Game On has done a great job here and I'm looking forward for the next one.